What's up guys, welcome back to another For Those Go video. This channel is where we discuss and learn new skills around the topics of design and development. If you want to grow your skills and learn new things that are coming up, please subscribe for more videos just like this. Don't forget to smash the like button for me, this really helps me to create more content. In this video, we'll be creating and learning about how we can create a simple cursor-based animation as you can see here on the screen. Before we begin, first I will take you to the place where I found this inspiration from, which is hotjar.com. It's an awesome product, I personally do recommend. Um, and uh, downwards in their particular this piece of uh, CTA interaction that you can see here there is a cursor based animation and as you can see uh, I have the console opened up and we have the moment of the pixel which is uh, translated into x-axis and y-axis and if we don't hover it and you can see the scale is moving up and down. So uh, basically we are cloning this piece of a UI now which is this CDA and uh, also uh, implementing all of these. For example, uh, if you take a look at ours, go ahead and inspect it and see uh, the elements and if we hover on it and uh, you can see we have pretty much same thing it's actually this div pretty much same thing um, except we are using uh, left and uh, top properties uh, rather than translate x and y um, it's kind of like achieving the same and also we have the scale going up and down so it's uh, not 100% accurate uh, as we can see here but definitely it uh, works kind of the same so without any delay, let's get this started. So let's go ahead and create our first file, which would be just um, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. So uh, create our first file, index.html. And inside here, we want to make the use of HTML5 template that's created for us. And we'll name this project Cursor CDA Animation. And uh, first things first, um, let's begin uh, with our creating our markup for our uh, this particular piece of UI that you see here. So uh, for the markup, um, we will have a simple a section tag, and inside this particular section, we will have div, which will have a class name of main CD, and um, not dev, sorry, it's div. And I'm really new to WebStorm ID. I'll just now add another div so with the class name of main uh, cd and i uh, am and your inner let's call it inner and uh, inside main cd inner we want to place in the s2 for our app so s2 and inside that particular s2 we want to uh, say get started uh, started with infra today so uh, infra is just a fictitious name for now and inside there we will also have a button which won't be having any um, functionality yet um, try it free okay so um, and we will also add a CD and that uh, I mean the span uh, so credit um, no credit card uh, credit card is required no credit card required all right so after that's done uh, we are okay to create our next div which would be the image and this particular image div uh, would be wrapped in also class so let's call it class and let's name it radical image and inside this radical image we want to place in the image so uh, I'll just hit in this src which would be placed inside of assets and radical uh, dash pg dot svg would be the file name that we'll be placing and um, we can just call it radical uh, as alt name for now uh, temporarily uh, but we can change it later okay so after that's done we are pretty much uh, done with our markup but the tiny things that we need to add on is like the link to the CSS and also we want to add in a script tag before our body ends so script and script and the src uh, would be uh, main.js all right so let's go ahead and create uh, those files uh, first is index.css and inside this we are not pretty much using any css resets for now so i'll just paste in um, the font um, needed that will be using which is enter and also some um, 
of the basic styling that we'll be adding inside the body which is font family of inter which we imported from uh, google api's um, uh, font provider and the height is um, 100 view height and padding of 50. after that's done we are pretty much okay for our index for now and let's add in the main.js file okay so inside of main.js file what we want to do is we want to first of all um, listen to uh, and the DOM event for example the DOM content loaded so after DOM content is loaded we want to fire off a callback function so um, for that uh, just we can add in document dot uh, add even listener and the, the event listening would be DOM uh, content loaded and it will take in a callback and inside this callback to console uh, the this is loaded right okay so after that's done let's go ahead and save everything we have written till now and probably we should start with okay run html okay so let's go ahead and copy that and paste it here so currently we are running uh, the application that we just served right now and inside console we should see this is loaded which is awesome and also probably i assume we have the couple of styles uh, added to it because it's taking in the padding which is great all right so as you can see we don't have an image so i will just bring in the image that we need so let's go ahead and uh, paste in the image okay uh, it does work and this is the asset so um i just tweaked it a little bit kind of um, we kind of trying to resemble this particular piece of ui that we see here all right after that's done let's go ahead and uh, dive into our writing a few uh, lines of css and we are pretty much uh, ready to uh, dive into interactivity side of things with javascript after body uh, we will also uh, as we haven't used any resets i just want to add um, this width of 100 percent to all the images that will be importing throughout the application and um, there are a couple of indentation uh, going on but i'll just ignore it for now and uh, main cda and for the main cda that we named which is the cd okay for the main cd which is the main wrapper um after the section want to take in the max width max width of uh, about 90 view width and probably a background color would be nice so background um color not an image sorry uh background color and a margin would be uh not main margin would be auto and padding of around 40 pixels uh best to use rems but yeah um text text okay so um text align to center and position can be relative with overflow of hidden after that our main cd is ready uh, let's see that what we have here and probably i don't need a refresh but anyway uh yeah this is looking as decent as we are going so far we want to add in few other pieces of um stylings let's grab in uh, main cd adds to and the main cta as2 can be font size of um around 40 pixels and we also want to take in the font width of around um probably 500 500 is fine um and let's also um like uh style up our buttons which is inside of our main cd or we can call it main cd inner uh, but um, yeah fine with that selector uh, let's add margin bottom bottom of 16 pixels and background color of um, probably I will drag in some R RGB value that I prepared before and font size of uh, 16 pixels and we'll also add a color and color can be just white for now padding can be uh, 15 pixels and 30 pixels uh, and border radius we border radius of uh, four pixels and also lastly we want to add a cursor cursor of pointer okay let's go ahead and save it and see that in the browser yeah taking shape but we still are going to uh, need a couple of styles all right yeah there is a typo mistake there 
So background color can be blue. So yeah. So um, let's work with the image, which is that particular image, radical image. So I'll just grab in radical image, radical image. And for that radical image, we want to have jet index. We want to push it uh, backwards. Uh, because it's position position absolute and we want uh, the point event a pointer event to be none and height uh, height can be just um, hard-coded for now which is about 1000 pixels of height and width can be uh, about 1000 pixels and let's add our top value which is minus 350 pixels uh, kind of trying to resemble what we see there in the hot jar and also left off around minus 400 which is going fine okay let's see that and probably refresh it yeah we have um, the height and the width probably we should like kind of like stack this um, in columns uh, yeah so let's go ahead and make the change to this uh, radical image image so uh, this is one of the important part so uh, radical image can be position of absolute and we want the pointer pointer events to be none and uh, none and width width could be just 100 percent for now uh, not 100 dollars but 100 percent and also like um, the main cd uh, mean uh, what do we call it this mean cta inner yeah we also need to fix the columns issue that we saw there so a mean cd inner could be position of relative because um the other one is absolute s i okay uh position is relative and um, jet index of one and yeah display of flex and we could probably copy things out we don't have any flex item created before okay so um display is flex and flex direction is direction is column and we will also want to add in uh, the line items uh, to center okay after that's done let's go ahead and save it and we are pretty much done with our with our css styles okay so um it's looking good so far and probably we added the view width to um, our container so it should be um, as expected yeah it's decent so far okay um, now let's uh, go ahead with the main uh, .js because we have uh, pretty much finished our index and also the HTML markup. Um, the first thing, uh, what we want to do is we want to expand this a little bit and let's get started with our uh, uh, grabbing the elements from the UI. So let's um, create a constant and um, let's name this constant moving graphic moving graphic and that could be and that could be accessed um from document dot um query selector and uh the thing that we want to select is the radical image radical image okay so uh what we could do is let's also grab the main cda container and let's create a constant and call it main cda that would be um, the uh, this main CD that we have. So document dot query selector with uh, this particular thing, uh, and we should add a dot there because it's a class name, and probably add a uh, as a quotation there. Okay. So uh, main CD and um, the main CD and the moving graphics. Okay. So uh, what we could do is we could now um, um, say main uh, cd dot add event listener and that event listener could be a mouse move event. So uh, m o u s e mouse uh, mouse move and uh, this is just a callback function that we are using and um, after the mouse uh, move event happens we want to um, create two variables for example lit 
x is the x axis which is which can be accessed from event dot page um, x uh, or it can be zero initially and uh, also let's add in the y property which is the y and page let's call this y and we want to grab this um, moving graphic moving graphic dot style and we want to add the style of top property and add a top of y the value y that we created in here uh, y plus um, the pixels to be added so this would be uh, this would up update it and moving on we can also grab in um, the x property and the y property um, so yeah and this is it so let's go ahead and save it and see that in action probably we should refresh this and we don't see anything yet oh we we, we do see a, pro, a top property that's changing which is great so i wonder why the uh, y property is not changing oh yeah it should be left okay so after that's done let's go ahead and refresh it and you can see top and the left property are um, like the values are increasing while we do the hover mouse hover okay uh, this is uh, quite simple so far um, now let's try to improve this um, uh, so to add in a couple of more properties um, the main thing is we do have image here uh, but the image is kind of down below here uh, but we don't see it there so let's try to bring the image up here and uh, before that uh, I also want to grab in a couple of variables that we need to define because we need to add the scale uh, as you can see the scale increase and decrease uh, for a certain uh, time interval so uh, we could achieve that um, now, uh, first of all, I just want to take in a couple of um, values that we'll be defining, first of all. So uh, let's uh, define a couple of values and let's call it scale. The initial value would be 0.5 and um, the other is constant of increment. The value is 0 0.005. And after that's done, we could now make the use of a set interval to increase and decrease the value as we want so I uh, make the use of set interval and we want to make the use of arrow function here and uh, we can call scale uh, plus is equal to uh, the increment and um, it increased uh, the value um, in a certain interval of time and we want to pass in 40 here 40 would be a millisecond I suppose uh, 40 it's not here it's there okay and we also want to add in a couple of style transformation to our element there which is this moving graphic so let's grab this moving graphic and let's add style dot transform uh, and we want to transform the scale um, of this let's add in the scale and we want to grab in the scale value that we defined uh, c e l e st style and this should be scale and this should be a dynamic value so i'll just bring in this uh, here and also we want to add in um, the style transition so let's bring in moving graphic uh, dot style dot transition and is equal to all um, two seconds is in out probably this should help and uh, lastly what we want to do is we want to um, uh, add a condition if um, 
if there is a skill value and the skill value is greater than 1.16 then we want to reset this skill value um, as it's not a constant but a let variable up there which is this so it can be changed um, and skill can be uh, back to one so skill can be um, uh, just back to one and if we hit on save probably we should add a comma and hit on save um, this is it so let's take a look at the browser uh, let's go ahead and refresh this and yeah so our cursor is moving and i also assume that we have this particular thing that's um behind there which is this particular image is transforming its, its scale with a given value uh, which is as we expected all right so um this is how we created a simple uh, animation on um, the mouse with a, a simple javascript function and also add a um, skill uh, value and that's increasing and decreasing as well so um, if you guys want to learn more around the topics of design and development um, please uh, subscribe for more videos just like this uh, and don't forget to smash the like button for me this really helps me to create more content thanks a lot guys see you in the next one